Inferior Petrosal Sinus Sampling for Differentiation of Cushing's Syndrome and Disease. Narrator and Surgeon, Dr. Michael Horowitz. Here we see the right inguinal area. Three sheaths have been placed, one sheath in the right common femoral artery and two sheaths into the common femoral vein on the right side. An AP view showing a wire being advanced into the inferior vena cava, into the superior vena cava. This wire will then be manipulated into the internal jugular vein on the right side. A catheter is advanced over the wire. The wire is now advanced into the internal jugular vein and the catheter will be advanced over it. We use a five French straight catheter for the right-sided catheterization. Here the wire is being advanced. It will be aimed medially and anteriorly using biplane angiography into the right inferior petrosal sinus. There it is seen entering the right inferior petrosal sinus. Here in a lateral view, it is entering the right inferior petrosal sinus. An important landmark is the clivus. The wire advances along the clivus. Here the wire is medial, and in the previous lateral view we saw it was aimed anterior. A five French straight catheter is now advanced over the wire into the right inferior petrosal sinus. The catheter is difficult to see on this run. A run is done through the catheter, opacifying the inferior petrosal sinus and the cavernous sinus. This AP run again shows opacification of the sinuses. There is good communication between the right and left cavernous sinus. Here a second catheter is now advanced across midline into the left internal jugular vein. The catheter is being advanced. Here we use a 5 French angled catheter which allows us better access to the contralateral side. A roadmap is done from the right side to help us guide the left-sided catheter into the inferior petrosal sinus. A wire will be advanced medially and anteriorly using biplane angiography and the catheter will be advanced. Here the catheter is being advanced along the wire into the inferior petrosal sinus. We have now catheterized both right and left inferior petrosal sinuses. A venography run is done, once again showing good filling of all sinuses. A lateral view shows filling of the sinuses Here we are outlining the right orbit and the left orbit, and we are pointing to the right catheter in the right inferior petrosal sinus and the left angled catheter in the left inferior petrosal sinus. These are both five French catheters. Here on a lateral view, we are outlining the clivus, which is between the two longer arrows. The inferior petrosal sinus runs along the clivus, and this is an important landmark. Here we show the right and left cavernous sinuses, the left inferior petrosal sinus, the catheter, the right cavernous sinus, the right inferior petrosal sinus, the catheter, and the right jugular vein. The tip of this catheter is in the inferior petrosal sinus. Here again, on a lateral view, the cavernous sinus. The inferior petrosal sinus with the catheter in the ostium to the inferior petrosal sinus. And the clivus was labeled. Now that the catheterization has been carried out, Venous sampling will be done from both catheters over the next hour. Sampling will be done with and without stimulation using Actithrel. At the end of the procedure, all catheters will be removed. In this case, we did not need to use the arterial catheter 
the arterial catheter was placed in case catheterization of the sinuses was difficult and an arterial roadmap run was done in order to isolate and visualize the venous phase of the arteriogram to better aim our catheters towards the jugular veins and the inferior petrosal sinuses bilaterally. 